guys, it's Half. I'm back again. This is going to be a quite long update of my 100 colourful empties, which I'm doing in collab with a whole bunch of ladies, which I'll link them all down below. Um, it was started by Hayley0614 on Instagram, and I first saw Lena7623, aka Jess, do it on her channel, which is when I decided to do it. Um, yeah, so what I'm actually going to do this time is I'm actually going to go through the colour groups. And I'm going to um, go through everything. So some things have never been used or not been touched. But I kind of like need to remind myself that I have these things that I could probably be using in some kind of way. So um, I'm going to start with the red category. I'm going to work my way through. Um, yeah. I have finished some things in the last since I last updated, which is probably about a month or so. Um, so there has been some progress, but not in every colour group. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, so we're going to start with red. First thing is the uh, Natural Look Night Cream. Clearly I haven't used this. I probably should go put this one in my bathroom and um, use it interchangeably with the one that I'm actually using, which isn't even in a project. It's just sitting there. It's like, why am I not using up samples that are in a project? So, yeah, I'm planning to go put this one in my bathroom when I finish it. Uh, the next thing is the Christian Lacroix Eau de Perfume. I haven't even touched this. I'm actually trying to work on one that's in one of the other categories. So that's why I haven't touched that one. The Sassy and Savvy Facial Recovery Mask. I have not even touched this. Um, there's actually only, like, it's down here. I haven't even opened it. Uh, yeah, have not actually used this. I probably should. <laughs> it's just, masks are not this thing that I do very often. Um, the other mask that is in this one is the Bioderma Sensibo mask. Um, this is one of those ones that I could probably, like, use before I went in the shower. and get it like, used up quite quickly. Anyway, um, next we have a couple of nail polishes. We have, oh look, that one looks like it moved. <laughs> uh, first we have Essie's Snap Happy. Wow, this texture is just too thick. I have so many nail polishes in projects that I'm not really getting anywhere. Um, so this is Snap Happy. Can't really tell now because it's just a big blobby thing right there. Uh, that is Snap Happy right there. Uh, we're sort of at the top of the big blobby line because I used too thick a thing. But that one is Snap Happy. So a tiny bit of progress on that one. This one, well, it doesn't look like it's moved. This one is Ali's Big Break from API. They don't put the names on it, which is why that's there. And that is that one there. Clearly have not used that one. Then we have the third mask in this colour category, which is the Cosmetic Kitchen Clay Mask. Uh, yeah. It has like this recipe thing on the front of it. For a Radiant Choc Avocado Mask. Why would you think I would do that? I'm just going to put some of it in some water and just slap it on my face. Yeah, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> the Nikki K uh, Lipstick Liner. Lip Liner in red. It's literally what colour it is, is red. Um, haven't used it. It's actually been in the box, which is probably a really bad place for it to be, sitting in the box on the floor. should probably put it in, like, my makeup stash. And the same goes for the Bite Beauty Lip Crayon in Pomegranate. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put those in my makeup stuff. And the last one is the Natio... Tinted lip balm in Smile. 
um, has not been used either. Probably because I'm trying to use up another lip balm at the moment before I go on to other lip balms. So that is it for the red category. Next we have the yellow category and I've actually finished products in this category. Yay. Okay, first of all we have the Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue Eau de Parfum Spray. I haven't even taken it out of the plastic. Clearly I have not used this. Uh, next we have one of the ones I've actually finished. The Ombra SPF 30 Daily Defense Moisturizer. This is an Audi brand. This one is finished. Yay! Then we have the Lacura Twin Phase Vita Serum. I had two of them and I have used both of them up. So that's good. So that's two categories of the yellow ones done. And we have the Lacura QV Royale Anti-Aging with QT40 Luminous Serum Concentrate, which I have not actually started. It's another one that needs to go in my bathroom. Then we have the Nooks Multi-Purpose Dry Oil. I have actually used this. I don't know where my line was. It came off. But I have actually used this. Yeah, I might have to see it, find a picture and see if I can, like from my um, last update and see where we were. But that one's had a little bit of progress on it, at least. The Butt Naked Body Powder in Satsuma, I haven't actually touched either. It's, it's like right there in line with body powder. So it's not like completely full or anything. I just need to remember to like put it under my boobs, for example. Uh, next we have Orly's Glow Stick, which does not look like it has moved from the line. I don't remember wearing it this last month. Um, it'll make the camera freak out because it is a neon. Um, but that is basically where we are. The uh, Nutramedics Nutra Rich Beauty Balm, which is a little sample. Another thing I need to put in my bathroom and make sure that I actually use it instead of it sitting in a box. The L'Oreal Elviv Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Mask for Dry Hair um, is another one that I should probably put in my shower. Um, I'm using like another one which I think is in the orange category. Um, I've been actually using that, but maybe I'll put this in the shower and use this one up first. Would be nice to have some empty sample things, not so many like full ones. So yeah, that's that. Um, and the last one is the Long Vita Light 24K Active Gold Eye Mask have not touched. Clearly because it's like one use. Uh, yeah. But that is it for the yellow category. In the orange category, we haven't had anything finished, but we have had some things with some movement on it. First of all, we have the Palmer's Perfecting Facial Oil and Cleansing Oil. I have not touched either one of these. Um, again, probably something I should uh, put somewhere. I actually should use the facial oil to like take my makeup off um, until I go shopping because I haven't got any face wipes. <laughs> Which is basically what these are. This one is like a serum so I should put it in my bathroom. Um, but this one is supposed to um, take off eye makeup and other makeup. So I might put this one in my shower and this one in my bathroom for um, actually using then we have the Guilani uh, Monoderma Exfoliating Anti-Wrinkles Vitamin A Retinol Capsule Things, um, which don't actually have any instructions on them, they just say use on externally. Um, yeah. I don't think you have to take retinol off like straight away, like you like leave it on overnight type thing. 
I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, I should probably do some investigating. <laughs> Next we have the Palm Olive Oil Infusions Body Moisturizer. I haven't started this one, but I have been using other ones, so um, this one may well be next on the list of body moisturizers to actually use. I tend to only use them when I get out of the shower. Uh, this one is a product that has been used. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturizing Day Cream. Um, I had actually kind of forgotten this one. <laughs> uh, that is about where we are. Um, I've been using this in combination with like another one because this one's got SPF and the other one I'm using doesn't have SPF. So I um, use that one when I know I'm going to go outside, which is clearly not all the time. Then we have a couple of nail polishes, neither of which look like they've actually moved. I don't think I've used either of these recently. Uh, this is Sunflower from Natio, which is that there. And the other one is Rising Star from OPI, which again doesn't look like it's moved from there. As I said, I've got lots of nail polishes on the go at the moment, so unless I focus on one or two of them, it's going to take ages. Then we have the Kerastase Nectar Thermique, um, which is a hair treatment. Another one that I should just put in my bathroom so that I actually have like all these things that I would use in my bathroom, in my bathroom. Um, the Nails Ink uh, Top Coat, I haven't used it either, so it looks... It has a little line there, which has not moved. Um, it's not my favourite top coat, there's probably why. Probably the only thing I'd use it for is similar to what I've done on a lot of my bottles, which is when I put a line, I actually put nail polish over the top of it. Uh, the Schwarzkopf Hair Repair Mask. I have actually started using this in the shower. So... Um, Probably doesn't look too different. It smells really nice. Uh, <laughs> it's got a little bit of a dent going on in there. Um, yeah. So I have actually started using this. So that's good. Using something. And the last one in the orange is the one that has had like the most movement. Is the Original Souls Blood Orange Shower Gel. Um, this was up here somewhere. Um, yeah. So, it has made a big dent, and uh, maybe it'll be used up by the next update. I'm not 100% sure, but I like the smell of it, and yeah, it's a bit scrubby as well, which is really nice. So, that is it for the orange category. In the green category, we have the Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter Maximum Moisture Cream. This has probably got one use left in it, if that I have actually been using it. It's quite nice. Um, a bit too much sage in it for my liking. Not quite enough lemon, but um, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so this one will be finished after my next shower. The CoverGirl Clump Crusher in Black Brown. I uh, probably used it like twice, maybe. Um, and it's still fine. It's not drying out or anything, so yeah, it'll it keeps on going on. The two by Mani um, serum samples. Um, it's right, it's plastic. <laughs> this one is the Iron Face serum with hyaluronic acid, and this one I don't actually know what it is, but I think it's basically the similar kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Because it like, literally has nothing written on it. It's just weird. Anyway. Um, other thing that should just go in my bathroom, because that's generally where I use serums, is after I've had a shower and cleansed my face. Uh, the Innes Green Tea Seed Serum. Have not touched. Another one that just needs to go in my bathroom. Macadamia Oil Treatment. 
another one that I should just put in my bathroom so I like use it in my hair. Uh, the Chlorine Shampoo and Conditioner. I haven't touched it clearly. Again, something I should just put in my bathroom. All this stuff has been sitting in a box and I haven't really looked at it. I've just like occasionally I'll go through it if I'm like looking for like a serum or something. <sighs> so not good. Um, the Seba Med Dermasoft Wash Emulsion, uh, which I haven't even taken it out of its little box here. It's basically just a cleanser, anti dry cleanser type thing. And it even has like this little book thing in it. Look, I hadn't even looked at it. <laughs> Uh, dear. Uh, so it's a gentle wash emulsion. Um, yeah. It doesn't actually say where to use it. Yeah. Um, formulated to re regenerate dry skin. I think it's probably meant as a body wash more than a anything else wash which is probably how I will use it um, another one just needs to go in my bathroom damn could have used so much of this if I just put it in my freaking bathroom where I use this stuff uh, the Sukin um, trio uh, the purifying cleansing gel rebalancing lotion and line smoothing serum again something I should just in my freaking bathroom. I don't even know why I'm keeping it in its cute little thingy either. <sighs> I'm so bad at this sometimes. <laughs> um, then I have three samples which are all together. The um, A new retroactive youth extending cream with sunscreen. This is actually a daytime one so I should put it near my computer. Then I have the Germaine de Cappuccini Cream Hydrating Cream Cream Hydrating Cream No Stress Hydrating Cream and Hydro Mattifying Cream Gel um, which I should again just put in near my computer so I actually use the bloody things. And the last one is the Revlon Nail Polish in Moss, which I don't, I think I've actually worn it. Pretty sure I wore it. Um, so the line probably moved, but it got kind of shooked up. I think it's probably, see where that slight red line is there? I think that's probably where it is, but I will mark it afterwards. Um, that is Moss right there. It's kind of a gross green colour. Yeah, so that's it for the green category. So on to blue, which we have things kind of used up in this category. Um, first of all, we have the John Frieda um, Fine to Full Blowout Spray. I haven't even taken that out of the box. <sighs> the Clinique Turnaround Concentrate. Turnaround Concentrate Visible Skin Renewer. I have actually started using this. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it's still okay. Like, I haven't had any reaction. It just, and it smells okay. It just kind of looks a little weird, but then again, that's what it might be supposed to look like. I don't know, because um, I'd never used it before. And, okay. Um, I just <laughs> opened it up and looked inside it. And it's probably down around about here. You can't actually see through the packaging, but it looks like it's down around about here. I've probably only used it maybe three times. So, um, and I don't use it twice a day like they recommend. I only use it like once. Um, yeah, so uh, I have started using it. So it has had a little bit of progress on it. The Essilor Peeling Gel. Um, it's one of those things I should probably use in like the shower or just before I go in the shower because it says leave after 10 minutes 
and then like when I've, I haven't been wearing makeup. Um, yeah. So another thing I probably should put in my freaking bathroom. Can you see a regular pattern here? Uh, next we have the Palmer's um, moisturizer. Um, again, I should just put it in my bathroom so I should use it. The Lacura Oxy Serum. I had three of them in the project. I've actually used one of them. I still have two to go. Another thing that just needs to go in my bathroom. <sighs> Are you sick of me saying that yet? The Germaine de Cappuccini Hydra Cure. There were four samples in this project. I have used two of them. I love this shit. It's so expensive, but absolutely love it. So I have two more of these. They're slightly different, but they're basically the same kind of thing. They're all just um, moisturizers, and they are, if you have dry skin, these things are the bomb diggity. I sometimes get like dry skin down through here, and the difference they make to my skin is like, it's instantaneous. These things are brilliant, um, which is why I haven't like used them um, so much. Apparently it says one application only on the back of it. I can get more than one application out of these babies. It's because I don't use very much and I use it very topically, which is why I haven't busted these open. It's because my skin hasn't been dry, so I haven't felt the need to. Then we have the Physio Gel Hypoallergenic Daily Moisturize Therapy Intensive Cream for Very Dry Sensitive Skin. This one is used up, um, kind of, it sort of looks like I can see some in it, but I can't. I, I squeezed and squeezed and squeezed this thing and I did the, 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 the shaky thing that Anne-Marie, Amber F. Wow. Um, said to do. Um, yeah, so this one is actually used up. Yay! Um, the other one, which was the bigger one, um, I haven't actually started that one yet because I'm using other ones. I figured I'll just leave that one for now and get on with the other ones. And the last two things in this category are both nail polishes. One of them is Angel Rain from Orly, which has moved a little tiny bit, which means I used it. Yay! So that one has moved a little bit. The other one is Dark Navy from Elf, um, which I have not used and has not moved. So that is everything in the blue category. Okay, purple category. We have the Innis Free Orchid Enriched Cream, which I think is just the moisturizer. Again, I haven't used it. I should probably put it somewhere where I will use it because, as I said, most of the stuff has just been in the box. <sighs> Jamboree wraps. <sighs> so, these are the Jamboree wraps. Um, I'm just going to get rid of them. Um, keep telling myself I will use them, but I won't use them. I don't like that you have to heat them up in order to actually use them. So these I'm going to class as done because I'm not going to use them. And that's them done. Next we have the Germaine de Cappuccini um, eye creams. Now I had already used up one at um, my last update. Um, and I have started on the nighttime side on this one, and then this is the daytime one, which I haven't started on, but it is sitting next to the stuff. Um, yeah, so it is getting, those ones are actually getting used. The Versace Crystal Noir perfume, haven't even touched it. Um, as I said before, there's another one I'm, I'm trying to use. I'm not really getting very far with it because I can't forget. I'm not very good at using perfume, quite honestly. Then we have all these charged up, which might be a tiny bit lower, but I don't actually think so. Um, I swatched it one nail on one of my other videos. Uh, 
So that is all these charged up right there, and the line is basically there. So it hasn't moved. The other one is Lincoln Park After Dark. Again, it got swatched um, once, like one nail in a recent video. Um, yeah, so that's that one there. Doesn't look any different. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to tell anyway. Go figure. Um, I have used up the NSI Nurture Oil, which, um, yeah, quite a nice one. I actually put it into um, a, like one of those water pens. Uh, one of the girls on one of the nail groups was talking about how she'd seen somebody using one of these not quite like this one. Hers was a bit shorter. Hers was um, the Derwent brand of these. Um, basically what these are, are a pen that you fill up this bit here with water. Um, when you're doing like art and stuff like using watercolour pencils and stuff. So, and they've got like a brush tip on them. So you can um, like very precisely add water to like artwork type things. And she'd wondered whether you could put oil in them for like nail oil in them. Um, so you didn't have to try and refill like the Bliss Kiss one. Um, and uh, yeah, it works. <laughs> so I had actually put, because the top of this was like really broken. It was driving me crazy. And, and then, I don't know if you can see, but you see how far up the dropper is from the bottom of the bottle? I literally couldn't get it all out because of the way the bottle was designed. So I actually managed to find a three pack of these. They've all got slightly different brush tip sizes on them. I have one that I've put a different cuticle oil in and is sitting next to my bed now. Um, I put the, the nurture oil in this one and then used it up as much as I actually could. So you literally just like paint it on. It's like, it's great. It's awesome. It's a great way to do it. Um, yeah. So that one is used up. Um, the LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara, that one was gone last time. The Jordana Quick Liner in Wild Orchid. I haven't used it because it was another thing that was just sitting in the friggin' box instead of putting it with my makeup. That's so bright. Um, and the other one is the Maybelline Master Smoky in Smoldering Velvet. Um, smoldering violet, which also didn't get used because it was just sitting in the box. So I'm going to make sure I put these somewhere where I can actually use them. And that is it for the purples. Okay, on to the pink category. Um, the LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara in Poppin' Pink was already done last time. The Eco Lips Eco Tints in Rose Quartz Lip Balm have not started as I said before, I'm using other lip balms. The Satin Rosewood Lip Liner, which is the main lip liner I actually use. Not a whole lot left of this one. Um, we are now down to there. Um, it's, it's getting to the point where it's going to get harder and harder to actually sharpen, but it is the one that I use the most. The Kmart Lip Liner in nude um, another one that has made a little tiny bit of progress so that's where we are now and we were up there when we started so both of those have had a little bit of progress on them which is great um, the L'Oreal Opera Ballerina nail polish uh, looks like it's moved a tiny little bit And I just knocked it over. Uh, so that one is right there. Not that it looks any different to colour of the swatch wheel too much, but it has moved down a little tiny bit. I made a bit of a mess when I knocked it over. So, uh, yeah, so that one's had a little bit of progress on it. The Maybelline BB Dream Fresh in medium. Have not touched that. I've got other products that I'm actually using at the moment. 
The L'Oreal Base Magic I have actually been using. I can't see through the packaging properly. <laughs> uh, comedy of errors over here. It's probably around about there. Somewhere around about there. But I have been using it. And um, I mainly use it in my um, T-zone where my... Because it's a... Um, smooths pores even skin condition skin that's like where I have the most texture on my face so I have been using it and quite enjoying it the Pons flawless white BB plus have not touched this one as I said I'm trying to use something else up at the moment the grace coal wild fig and pink cedar body cream haven't touched this one because I'm using up other ones and the L'Oreal Elvive Anti-Fall Hairspray. I have actually started using this because I finished off one of the other hair things I had in a different project. But this is black and I can't tell you where it actually is. But I use it when I wash my hair. Um, and I can't open it so I can't really have a look inside. But it is getting used. So that is everything in the pink category. So, on to the black category. We have the Harvey Prince Sincerely um, Perfume, EDP. Um, this is one I've been working on to see how much progress I've made. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting to use it. It's sitting right next to me. I just, I just forget to use it. It's not that it smells bad or anything. Um, I think I don't really like rollables. I think that's probably the problem. If it was a spray, I probably would have used a lot more of it by now. The Biology Equilibrium Number no. 304 Moisturizer. Have not used this one. I'm thinking this one will be the next one after I finish the Bliss one that I will reach for. The Fashionista Vanishing Cream, which is basically like a uh, pore filler. Uh, I haven't really touched this one. I think I used it like once or twice, if that. So it kind of still looks the same. But it's basically the same texture as um, Base Magic, actually. Very similar texture to it. The LOL Black Eyeliner. Um, it has that much, and I haven't really been using it. Because I had it in the wrong drawer. The Lancome Black Eyeliner has been sitting in the box, have not used. The Revlon Customize have not used. It's been sitting in the box as well. Um, that may well be the next one I reach for after I finish off the uh, Grow Luscious one that I'm currently using. The Ambience Dry Shampoo powder stuff are uh, still basically in exactly the same position because I haven't been reaching for it. The uh, Revlon Photo Ready Primer. Again, it was sitting in the box so I didn't reach for it. The Avon A New Ultimate Elixir. Um, again, have not used it because it was sitting in the box. And the last ones are the black nail polishes. The um, Orly Blackout has not actually moved. Not much point showing you what a black nail polish looks like because it looks like a black nail polish. The Liquid Vinyl is down about there. Um, but the one that's had the most movement on it is Black Swan from L'Oreal, probably because it's my least favourite. So I actually painted a swatch wheel with it. Um, because I wanted to be able to put others over it. So it has gone from up there to down there. So, yeah, this is... <laughs> the nail polish that has had the most movement recently is that particular one. And that's actually everything in the black category. On to the grey silver category. The Innisfree Super Volcanic Pure Clay Mask. I know it's in a brown container, but it's actually... Um, haven't used that one. <laughs> the two Transformulas, um, samples. One of them, this one's like a one that helps your lips get bigger but isn't supposed to hurt. 
and this one is just a facelift in a jar, apparently. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I'll get around to it eventually. The Clarity Rapid Detox Charcoal Exfoliant. This one has actually had lots of movement. This one lives in my shower. Um, there's really not very much left. Um, I, part of the little lid thing fell in there. Um, there's probably three uses left in there. So, yeah, quite enjoy using that. I uh, basically mix it into my cleanser and just. But I'm um, using that in conjunction. Like I have another exfoliator I'm using, so I don't use that one all the time. Um, then we have Revlon Sparkle, which ooh, look, it's moved. Which, oh, you're not going to be able to see if I do it that way. So that is Revlon Sparkle right there. If it would fit, there we go. So we're down to there now. That's what that one looks like. And um, all the shine, which doesn't appear to have moved, is that one there. And it's a good shake. <laughs> uh, the BYS Pearlized Eyeliner. It's been sitting in the box, so I haven't used it. The Color Theory Eye Pencil in Charcoal, again, has been sitting in the box, so I haven't actually used it. The LA Colors um, Bold Lash in Silver Chrome um, was already out. And the two eyeshadows, the Silver Grey and the Brownie Dark Grey, neither of them look any different to what they did before. Uh, mainly because I haven't really been reaching for those ones. So that is everything in the grey silver category. And finally we have the white category. So the Fashion Secret Skin Brightening Face Highlighter. I haven't used this. Again, it's been sitting in the box and I haven't really been reaching for it. I would also pretty much need to mix it into moisturiser or foundation I think to actually use it. Which I just have not done yet. Uh, the Blossom Kosher um, Coffee Bean Scrub. I haven't used this yet because I'm using other scrubs in the shower at the moment. So that one has just been put aside for now. The Essie Good To Go Top Coat. haven't been using it so it hasn't moved from where it was last time. The Oligodermy samples of the Hydro Protective Fluid and the lightning serum um, again it's things that I haven't um, been putting somewhere where I actually use them um, so like this one I should put in my bathroom for use at night and this one I should put in my computer for use during the day um, yeah the Lacura Royal Face Mousse Thing. Um, another one that I should just put somewhere where I will actually use it. I think it's like a daytime type thing, but it's been sitting in the box, so it hasn't been used. The Madara Time Miracle Eye Cream, again, sitting in the box, haven't used it. The Avon Nutra Effects Night Cream, again, sitting in the box, haven't used it. L'Oreal Boho Nail Polish, which looks like that. I have not used this one, so it has not moved from where it was last time. Uh, the Maybelline Color Tattoo in 2 Core. I remember saying last time that I wasn't sure whether I was going to keep on using it or not. And I do use it sort of like regularly when I do my eye makeup and I mean it is kind of firm but it still blends out like I don't know if you can actually I blended it in the wrong spot on my hand um when you work it like 
it still does its thing. So, yeah, I'm just, I mean, it doesn't look too different from what it looked like before. But I'm just going to keep on using it for now. And I mean, I have other cream eye bases that I'm using as well, but it's fine. It still works. And the last thing is the CoverGirl Exact Eyelights in Black Sapphire, which, again, I haven't used because, like, with mascara, like... <laughs> Um, I tend to try and only use one at a time if I can, um, so yeah. Um, so that is everything in my 100 colourful empties. I have, um, let's see, not enough empties, my friend. <laughs> it's only a little tiny box with not very much in it. But stuff is getting used and I'm okay with that and it is only April. I have to remember this is a year long project and some of these things, like a lot of the samples and that, if I just use them, they're going to be gone like quite quickly. I just haven't been using them. So yeah, um, yeah. so that is that for this update. I will leave all the other people I can think of who are actually doing this project as well. I'll leave them linked down below so you can go check them out. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos and Project User Up type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.